Good evening folks, Alien Addict here. Like, share and subscribe if you want to know what the fuck's going on. Because I sure do. Um, I don't have the answers for you by the way. I'll try and get them. Stephen Greer, Tom DeLong. Which one's for real? Are they both phonies? That is the question. Um, now in all honesty, I keep watching documentary after documentary after documentary on these two guys. And, um, and I don't actually know who's who's right, who's wrong, who's phony. I, I do know they both want to make a book off disclosure. Um, I, I kind of feel like we're paying for disclosure. Do you not get that feeling that we, we uh, us general public, we're just paying for disclosure and then we we'll be fucking waiting. It's like, it's like waiting for Christmas when you're a kid I and mean, it just never comes. So, so I'll start with Stephen Greer. So I've been watching many, many documentaries, made up ones, his own documentaries, and I watched uh, Secure Team's recent interview. He kind of asked for money in that interview. He asked for a lot of money as well. Now, you would think that some very wealthy people would want to do that, but they don't want to be put in the crosshairs of, of funding it by themselves. But a million people listening to your show, each going to SeriousDisclosure.com and putting in 5 or $10 in donations, that would do it. But a million people listening to your show, each going to SeriousDisclosure.com and putting in 5 or $10 in donations, that would do it. So yeah, I'm like, I understand you, you need money to get it going. I just think there's kind of a, you know what I mean? There's that, come on, give me some fucking money. Show me the money. Maybe what the guy's doing is just all just for us, you know, he's just, he's, he's no bullshit to him. He's just like, guys, I just want to prove to you that it exists, it's out there. I'm going to be the one to reveal disclosure. But then he's got this war going on with Tom DeLong. Um, well, to the Stars Academy mainly, but which is Tom's company. Show me the money! He's the one that says that Tom is just being used and he knows Tom well. Tom's been to his house, you know, they've played pool together, drunk a few whiskeys, you know, smoked a few bifters maybe, and played a little tune probably. I also thought it very strange when Tom DeLonge suddenly appeared on the mainstream media and is now being hailed, you know, as the UFO researcher of the year, to, you know, of the year is being given awards. Yeah. And, you know, people are suddenly emailing me asking about him. And I said, look, uh, I agree. There's a lot of fear. Yeah, but I don't think he, I don't think he's conscious. Here, here's how slick the intelligence community is. They will recruit someone like him to reach millennials uh, or X generation folks who is being used. I think, I think Tom is, I mean, Tom has stayed here at my home. I know him very well. I think he's being used by the intelligence community. So they are, yeah, they, uh, according to Stephen, they were good friends and Tom I've heard. Um, so, what my question is, I'd like to see them both kind of get together. None of their other parties involved. Just them two in a room, having a pint, talking it over, like gentlemen. I don't think that's going to happen because. So I see this tweet the other day about um, Stephen Greer's, you know, the little alien man, yeah, uh, being the DNA coming out than it is human um, and the tweet came from to the Stars Academy which is almost like a kick in the knackers for Stephen Greer and Stephen Greer is then tweeting out that you know this guy that did the DNA 
is, is, is a bit of a bell end that's done it and he's not done a proper job so we need to hear more of that I have to say the little the little guy he does look weird you know it's I think it's a female so it's a weird little thing and it, it doesn't look like any human remains I've ever seen not that I've seen many human remains I, I mean I have seen dead bodies before unfortunately but um the um, yeah, the remains. It's odd looking, but it's been proven to be human, and it's got this rare thing I put right now. I do that a lot when I just don't know what I'm talking about because I can forget. You know, I've got a memory span of a fish. But what? Yeah, what I'm getting at is, who do we go to? Greer, Tom, or none of them? For me, it's none of them. I'll make my own decisions. I'll watch them both and then I'll make my decisions on what I see. Tom needs to, he needs to do a video. Tom, you need to do a video about the recent um, three videos you've released to us, the UFOs, and you kind of need to just explain what's going on, where the rest of the footage is, because there's definitely other footage there because you cut it off. Um, also, why the pilot looks drunk in some of the interviews. That's my cat trying to get in. Hey Rudy. Do to come and say hello? You've just interrupted my video, so you best be nice. This is Rudy. And he's all up for disclosure. Put your hands in the air if you're up for disclosure. Yeah, he wants disclosure. So, yeah. You've made me lose my train of thought, cat. So, Tom DeLong, Stephen, what are you playing at? Come on, give us something more. Stephen, get on your channel, your YouTube channel, and have a chat with us. Tell us that this guy who's done the DNA of this alien is talking bollocks. And Tom, you need to come on and tell us more about these UFOs. And what else you've got. And also, the rumours, yeah, they were just rumours. The last video when I talked about the NASA and to the Stars Academy. You want to go, mate? That's bullshit. And I knew it was. Nothing's going to happen at that. And if it is, then I'll eat my cat. Oh, I don't think I'd eat all of him. He's kind of a big lad, but I'd eat a bit of him. Live on camera. There you go. Animal cruelty. No, he won't be cruel. I'll wait till he passes away. See, it's not me for six, I'm talking shit now. But yeah, Tom Greer, who we for? This is mainly an open forum, you know my channel by now. I talk shit, but it's honest shit. And I kinda wanna know, I want your thoughts down below, because I like chatting to you. I get lonely, I'm a lonely fucking man. Well, I'm married with a, with a child and another child on the way. Yes, Alien Addict is pregnant again. <sighs> Such a man. Um, see, the whole... This is the thing. This is why I'm absolutely going insane at the minute. So I'm bringing more children into this world. And we've got this disclosure that's meant to be coming out. And then we've got these other channels saying that it's fucking the end of the world's come in basically fire and brimstone UFOs and aliens is just fucking demons and I hope to god that's not true do I know that's not true though I was an atheist I'm not anymore I kind of have a belief that they can both exist in the same universe. Because I cannot, can you imagine blackness? You know, see nothing. Kind of gone on a tangent here because of the cat. But can you imagine just nothingness forever? You know, you die and there's nothingness. Nothingness, there's no such thing as nothingness. Einstein said energy can never die. I kind of believe that. And I kind of think there's something special about the human race. And I've seen that in some of Greer's interviews where he's kind of saying that and he's kind of spiritual. I've not seen anything of that within 
Tom, other than in his music, I really like DeLong's music. Blink-182, I was a big fan. Um, that's what spared me on when I, when I first saw that Tom was was doing this. I was like, yes, go on, lad. Because I've seen his stuff in the past. I've, I knew he had an interest because I had an interest in the band, so I knew that Tom has always been for aliens, and this is why I don't think he's a bullshitter. He's, Stephen could be right, he's a front man, but what if Stephen's a front man? Yes, I'm talking fast. It frustrates the shit out of me. It really does. I want to know what the hell's going on. And so do you. So yeah. I don't really have much for you today. Because I don't just put shit out for shit being sake. That's not even a real saying. But I don't do it. Because I respect you too much for that. I am not going to give you something that I don't think is real. Something that's just news. And if I do, I will either debunk it or I'll tell you what it is. Same thing. Yeah. The times we live in is so strange right now. Yeah, anyway, folks. I'm Alien Addict. Like, share, and subscribe. Good night, God bless. Mind the bugs don't bite.